good morning. Right, it's a really cold December Monday morning down on South Ends foreshore. Uh, Les and Neil are down here and they are already out on the foreshore. I've seen their head torches. I'm just walking down towards them. I don't know if you'll pick it up, but there is a head torch out there on the foreshore. I've been really struggling with my knee uh, over the last week and I got up this morning to come out as you can see I'm down here and I've decided that it's probably better that I don't go out there for fear of doing any more damage to my knee so I thought I'd come down and do an intro because they're they two are expecting me down here I've got no way of contacting them um, so I thought I'd come down here and just do an intro because they're not going to do one, expecting me down here. Uh, I will leave uh, Les a message on my phone to say that I'm not going to be here and hopefully I'll do an outro. Uh, but it is really, really cold down here. It's unfortunate because these tides are actually perfect today. The agreement was we are going to put our chest waders on and go across the gutway because uh, we should get a little bit longer out there today. But I really don't think it's worth risking my knee. Um, I do apologise as well for not getting a video out for last weekend. But we, I had one day off work. Uh, and that happened to be on the Sunday. And uh, which in actual fact was yesterday. And the weather stopped play. I couldn't get out there because it poured down with rain all morning. So we agreed instead on coming down here this morning. And I've woken up this morning ready to go and uh, my knee is just playing absolute havoc with me. But anyway, hopefully those two fellas will do well and do us proud. And uh, I hope to see you out there on the uh, on the foreshore as soon as my knee uh, improves. So hopefully Les and Neil can uh, do the business. Alright, morning all. It is a very chilly December morning. I think it's only myself and um, Neil this morning. Darren doesn't seem to have, uh, well he's not here yet anyway. Uh, my first target, I'm right over it now actually, was a, a little, well I don't know what, I can't get out of my bag. <laughs> um, was there and that was a 15 signal, which is a bit of scrap, just a, like a washer. And right next to it, I wasn't going to dig it because it was next to that bit of scrap. I thought it'd be another piece of this. Oh, I'm going to drop the detector. But that looks like a little sixpence. And that was an 18 signal, that one. I'm sure that's a sixpence. I don't know, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so George uh, fifth. I think that's silver on the first hull. Oh, second hull. Not bad start. Don't know. Might be half silver. I can hear Neil's found something. I can hear the pinpointer behind me. Right, let's get on. Well, oh, chilly December morning. On the beach. First coin. All round pound. Wasn't that deep really, but we're in um, horrible shingly stony mud. Which is a bit difficult to dig. But there we are, first coin. Okay, well, looks like that's a coin sticking out of there. There's a 22 signal, I think. Yeah, 22 signal. It actually looks like a little nugget to me. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a round pound. Yeah, it's a round pound. And normally coming at 21. There you go, round pound. I think Neil just found one of those as well. <laughs> Might be a few of these about a bit of luck. I think a lot of sand's been stripped off the top. Uh, we've had some storms recently, so might reveal a few bits and pieces, you never know. Right, well, uh, Darren's knee's playing out. I just got a message from Darren, so, uh, well, a little while ago, so I'm heading straight out now. Um, if you can pick out Neil, he's just behind me, just down there. There's such a lovely view when you're out this fall. <laughs> Not that 
well, about halfway out. So quiet as well this time of morning. I think someone asked actually uh, why we're always in the dark, and it's because we start at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and obviously the winter, it doesn't get light till around seven-ish at this, at this point. Uh, anyway, it's a 21 signal this one. It's quite faint. That's Georgia fifth penny. Not bad condition. See Britannia. Yeah, can't really make much of that out. There you go. Right, I'm going to push on right out to the gutway. Might even venture over it. I don't know yet. Cool. Well, fine. This ain't reasonable fishing weight. <laughs> Can only get better. Right, thought we'd go for a uh, live dig. Got a solid 22. Just there. Should be out here, that. It's just on the tip, just under the logo there. I mean, Beach 2, Equinox 800. It's going to be a piece of rubbish now, isn't it? <laughs> Giving it the big one. Oh, it's gone really scratchy there. I haven't got my headphones on fully, just so you might be able to hear the tones. Oh, yeah. It's in there. Yeah, I've got 4x4, four four, Beach 2. I did a factory reset last night because uh, the um, numbers were playing up last time. Sort of uh, all over the place. So. I'll give it a factory reset and I do mess about with my settings all the time so uh, it's worth for me anyway doing the oh, stuck now <laughs> nice view it's there somewhere there it is I think that's a half penny yeah Georgia fifth Half penny, that's really good condition. Can't see it on the camera, it's too small. But you see the trident and the shield, it's great. Oh. Oh. Dropping everything there. Oh, well, there you go, live dig. Live action. <laughs> right, that was a 12 signal just on the surface. It's given it. Pretty good tone, but it's like a tiny little buckle. Well, that's what it looks like, anyway. Yeah. I can also see someone else just out there. I don't think that's Neil. Or oh, it could be a bait digger. Have to go and investigate. Right, a little hole down there, somewhere. It's one of them. I don't know what it is. Well, where is it? I got one. Yeah, it's got some writing on it, but I can't see. So uh, yeah, strange. Almost looks like some kind of metal, but I don't think it is. Right, light is on that one. Something different. Good. Right, well I'm over the gutway. Uh, sun is just rising, so it should be around seven-ish. First signal over the gutway. <laughs> it's a knife. Must be some. Uh, fisherman's knife, I reckon. The bait knife. Don't know. There you go. Another knife. All right, out of that hole. Take your guess. Yep, you guessed it. Another one. <laughs> We're doing well on the lead today. Well, at last, I think I have a coin. I've seen a glint of copper. Yes. Another coin. Oh dear, oh dear. It's a bit distressed. So. 
I think it's a coin. <laughs> I'm not so certain there. Just clean it up it all. Oh, is it? Oh, don't lose it in the pond. Yes, it is. A ship, a half penny. Yeah, I'm just going to put point down. Right, right pig's ear is this. Ah, don't go away. George the sixth. Ship half penny. Barely. Right, I haven't been out this far for a long time. Uh, got a 25 signal there. Oh, there it is there. If it disappears there. Should be just there. I don't think it was that deep. Should be a coin with any luck. Oh, there it is. Better not be a modern penny. <laughs> First coin over here for ages, and it is dealt a modern penny. Right, well, going for one half penny. So one new penny. Ah oh dear, I hope Liz is doing better than I am. Well, it looks like a coin. It started off as a 28, but it's hitting 30. Solid. Looks like penny size. I why that's nice, uh, Elizabeth II. Pre decimal penny. Good condition, that one. Oh wow. Don't know why that's coming in at 30. There you go. Quite a spectacular bit of sky. Unlike my finds <laughs> so far. Right, well, we found a little hot spot Hi. again. Uh, just had that Elizabeth II penny. This is a 23 signal. It's a Georgia 5th. Yeah, penny. A bit worn that one. There's a lot of sand laying on the top here. About two or three inches of sand before you get to the black. So, yeah, I might move in a little bit. Well, I've got a 16 signal there. But it's got really crusty. Looks like a coin though. Can't make out what that is. Probably a sixpence. I'm not going to break that off in case it broke the coin. But till, till I can find out what it is. Yeah, could be something good, you never know. Right, well I'm out as far as I can go. 22 signal, another round pound. The uh, alarm's just gone off for low tide. That's 10 to 8. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to start heading back in soon as I, I'm on my own out here. So, just going to have a little wander over there and then back in. So if you can see that. <laughs> it's a John Martin. Right together just there. And I thought we was the only two mugs out here. Oh, sorry about that. That's another one of them. No, it's not. That's not a fishing weight, but it's a... That's a big ass. well, family show. Big bullet. Just about see the rifling on it. That's a chunky one. Yeah, something different. Right, 21 signal. Really loud. Uh, it's going to be a decimal half penny. Yeah, that's Elizabeth's second. I've got to start making a move now, so 
the tyre's just turned to coming back in. 26 signal, couldn't resist that one. George is sick. Ship half penny, looks quite a nice detail on that. And so the tide's just turned a lot later than norm, uh, than it said. But I've got to watch out that the uh, the gutway doesn't flood like it did last time. So I'm going to get right down to the gutway. 23 signal. It's a bit smooth. Oh, where you going? Oh, there you are. Don't know what that is. It's a penny though. Smooth penny. Can't see who it is. George. Sixth, it looks like, or fifth, yeah, fifth. There you go, Penny. Oh, it's a shame we're really enjoying this. <laughs> shame we've got to make a move. 26 signal, screamer that one. That's it, a Penny, predest Penny, George Sixth. Lovely pinky colour patina to that. That was a lovely little find. Probably the Royal Lifeboat thing, I would imagine, I don't know. Still got the pin on the back. <laughs> Might have a bit more detail on that. It's a little, little flag badge. Huh. Yeah, I like that. Right, well, I'm still out by the ray. Uh, it was definitely coming in when I was right far out. Uh, but it's still not coming. I reckon I could have spent about another hour out there. But all I've done, I've come back to where the ray, and I've walked all along that side, up and down, through the middle, and all up and down this side, and just dug loads and loads of deep targets, not even finding some of them. Uh, God, I'm absolutely shattered. Um, yeah, must have been going for about four hours now. <laughs> um, Yes, and it's not been good, not found anything. It's just been dead all along here. That side's got a lot of sand laying on top. This side hasn't. I just had a 26 signal. It looks like George V, really smooth. See Britannia there. George V, Penny. For my troubles. Oh, I don't think I can stand much more. It's a shame though, because I could have stayed out there for about another hour. Can't chance it on your own though. Too risky. This, walking across the ray, when I went out, it was just up to my top of my wellies and coming back, didn't even go over my ankles on the way back over. I've got my waders on. I'm just going to carry on here. I think Neil's probably gone home. Uh, he, oh, I've lost track of him. There's a few bait diggers there. Uh, yeah, he's probably gone home. I'm just going to have a little wander still along here and then head back. Right, back on the beach. Last few digs. 20p. Well, I just had the George fifth penny just there. Uh, got this 22, 23 signal. And it looks like a half penny. It's smooth again. Oh, it's a ship half penny. George is sick probably. Yeah, half penny. Well, that's a 15 signal. I'm not digging anymore. That is the crustiest 20p I've ever seen. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, no idea where Neil is. Oh, actually, I can see a detectorist over there. What was that is, Neil? Anyway, I've had enough. I'm going to go and sit on the beach and uh, see if it is in. Um, yeah, that is it. I had a pretty good day. Quite enjoyed that. Shame Darren couldn't get down here today. But uh, yeah, knee trouble, so. You can't walk out that far with a dodgy knee. Uh, there you go. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Cheers for now.